I'm a Namaste guys, Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout out here on this Wednesday morning in Denver, Colorado. It's 8 o'clock a.m. and we're jumping on for our daily dose of growth for our challenge number two. Our challenge number two. Now you might be asking, wait a minute, how many challenges are we actually doing? Jessica, I'm a Namaste. So the goal is we're going to be doing these daily challenges, Karen, I'm a Namaste, for at least the next two months. It's a weird lighting. Uh, for at least the next two months. So that means we'll have a minimum, Adriana, I'm gonna say we'll have a minimum of 60 challenges. A minimum of 60 challenges. So here's challenge number two. Uh, so again, for those of you who log in for the first time, checking this out, the daily dose of growth are certain challenges designed to stretch your different bodies, your mental body, your spiritual body, your emotional body, even your physical body. Why? For the purpose of becoming a better person. Prashant, I'm a namaste. And we're enacting practical spirituality in your life. Instead of these very, very high level spiritual concepts that are very difficult to understand, never mind even apply, we're taking simple spiritual concepts or simple challenges, integrating them into our day to day lives to improve the quality of our life. These challenges take about 15 minutes or less per day. Rocky, I'm a namaste. I haven't seen you on in a while, son. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so here's our challenge for today. Joanna, I'm a namaste. And these challenges are independent of each other, basically. Meaning they're not connected, like the challenge we do today is not going to be connected to the challenge we do tomorrow and the challenge we do in a week or the challenge. So every single challenge is different and you have 10 hours to accomplish a 15 minute challenge. So should be pretty easy, right? Um, so the one I was thinking of, most of what we're doing is based on inspiration. So I asked the question and I listen and I listen and I listen and I wait for the information to come to me. What would be a good challenge for the group? What would help them move forward? What would help them evolve? What would be entertaining? What would be, aha, and then it came to me. So this is the challenge for you guys today. <laughs> I know some of you are gonna go out of your mind with excitement because it's right up your alley. Other people, maybe not so much, and that's okay. That's the point of doing the daily challenges, to grow yourself as a soul. Okay, so the challenge is, I want you to get your iPhone, or your Android, and it, or your whatever. There's only two, right? And I want you to go out and I want you to take a picture of something that deeply inspires you. I want you to take your camera on your phone, go somewhere outside or inside, doesn't matter. And I want you to take a picture of something at a certain angle, in a certain lighting, in a certain way, that when you look at that picture, it inspires you, it inspires you. And then once you have that picture, I want you to have it on your um, wallpaper or your background for your computer screen. That's it, super easy. You've got my namaste. So again, today's challenge for number two, the daily dose of growth, is I want you to take a picture Inside, outside, a person, a thing, a place, doesn't matter, that when you look at that picture, it inspires you. What does inspiration mean? Inspiration means to breathe life into. Expire means to withdraw life, withdraw breath, right? So when you expire on a physical sense, you die. When you are inspired, you become excited, right? You become excited. So. I'm not gonna, you, as you guys know, the format is I don't go too much into why we're doing the particular challenge that we're doing and I don't give you much of my thought process as to why we're doing the challenge until the evening, until the evening. So tonight at six o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, we're gonna go over what was this all about? What did you guys learn? What did you develop awareness on? What did you get understanding on, right? I'm ahead of you, I did, I did this yesterday. Ah, interesting. So. Joanna, you now have to do that again. You have to do that again because that's today's challenge. You did it yesterday, but that wasn't yesterday's challenge. It's today's challenge. So find another picture that inspires you. 
Easy peasy for me, love taking pictures. So this is the second day in a row that Jessica's like, these challenges are cake, I got it all day. Don't worry, we're gonna be covering the gambit of challenges. Challenges on the spiritual level, challenges on the mental level, challenges on the emotional level, which will be fun for everybody, challenges on the physical level, which will be fun for some, and fun for not so fun for other people. Shresh, I'm a namaste. So that is what our challenge is going to be today. Perfect, good job, Joanna, I like that. I like your willingness. So, again, listen to the word I'm using. Um, not your Facebook wallpaper, your um, computer wallpaper. So when you open up your laptop, right? When you open up your laptop or your um, desktop and you see the, you know, all the icons, things you're clicking on, different files you're opening, right? Folders, whatever. I want you to have that picture as your background. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So, oh, your phone froze. <laughs> it's beginning. So the key word, very important, is inspiration. Inspiration. I don't use a computer, that's funny. Does that make sense? Inspiration. So when you, for instance, this maybe applies more to women than to men, it definitely applies to me, but when I go shopping for clothes and I look for a shirt, I go through many different shirts and many different pants and many different combinations to see if it feels good and looks good so I'm inspired. I like clothes that when I put them on, I feel prosperous, I feel sharp, I feel put together. That's important to me, right? So if I buy something and it doesn't give me that sensation, Chris, up and namaste, not interested. So the same thing, when you look at something, when you look at a picture that you are taking, ask yourself the question, does this invoke inspiration within me? Right? I can think of several things in my life that looking at them invoke tremendous inspiration within me. I have some of them in front of me, okay? Bam, Chris got to high five. So that's it. Super, super easy, guys. That is our challenge for the daily dose of growth. Go outside or inside, take a picture of a person, a location, an item, anything. Take a picture of something that deeply inspires you when you look at it and then take that picture and have it as your wallpaper on your computer screen. That's it. That's our challenge for today. And then we'll talk about that challenge tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. And I'm looking forward to getting feedback from you guys. This is an exciting one. I was wondering why this came up for me, right? Because I'm asking the question, what would be good for the group? asking the question, I'm listening and listening and listening, and then it came to me and I go, I wonder why? And then insights were coming through that process. So I'm honored to share this uh, growth process with you guys. So I look forward to seeing you. Um, that being said, we're gonna be doing arts meditation at 8.30 a.m. Mountain Time in the next 20 minutes, right on Zoom. Zoom, for those of you who have the link, it's the same link. I don't change it unless I change it and I tell you. So we're gonna be doing that at 8.30 today at 20 minutes, and then um, I look forward to being there for you. Today is, we're within the 24 hour period of WESAC, the most powerful time of the entire year to meditate. The most powerful time of the entire year to meditate, and I'm super, super excited about it. And I'm gonna post something, some of you may have seen it, some of you may not have seen it, but I'm gonna post something on my, uh, my wall today that I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, that was, ex it was an excellent article, well-written, well-researched, timely, brilliant, brilliant. So I'll be posting that uh, shortly. Some of you may have already seen it, uh, but I'm doing my part as a practitioner to spread the teacher's work. So, love you guys very, very much. This is Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant. For those of you who need healing, go to my website, same name, christianrlong.com, and I will connect with you there. Atma, namaste. Bye-bye.